Hi, I'm Laura. And what are you reading today, Laura? Uh, Bong Chion. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Diaper Yeah, read out loud, ma'am. Out loud? Yes. Warning, this webtoon is a special horror episode for this summer season. Since it contains shocking scenes, reader discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those suffering from serious medical conditions. Are you pregnant? No. Good. You're telling me. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah. Mystery Sketch 2011. It's based on true eyewitness uh, accounts. Keep on, keep on. I'm so demanding. I know. I know. It, was at, <laughs> it was at around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night, study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I look up to see who's there and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't have gotten any close to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. You know, people say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? <laughs> my thoughts are racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me chills thinking about that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Oh, over there? I just wanted to get away from me. Then she limped towards where I had pointed to, and I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, she's not here! I hear her screaming from far away. <laughs> this is going to give me nightmares. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bongcheongdong, Guanakaku, CO, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on that spot. Known as Sir, as Sir named Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter, and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. The end. She's hardcore. She's better than me because that's screaming.